Oh shit. I, I, I. What up, YouTube? Bring us a new video. It's your boy Vibes right here. <sighs> Bring us with story time, guys. You guys already know. Story time with Vibes, aka Alex. Okay. So this is kind of like a little lesson, guys. You know, my stories are always kind of like a lesson. Help you guys out with, so it won't happen to you guys what happened to me, you know? Okay, so before I start the video, this is about my first car crash, guys. And if you guys ever like plan on getting a car or anything like that, I recommend to always have a door, I mean, a door, door, ah, door dash. <laughs> I <call her. laughs> oh my god, I'm just making up words now. Okay. Dash cam, my bad. <laughs> okay, there we go. I always recommend having a dash cam, guys, because if you guys don't have a dash cam, then the other person could potentially tell you, say that you crashed him, even though he crashed you, type of thing, guys. So we could prevent from that, and also you can like, or you can just turn it in your favor. I don't know. It's up to you guys. I'm uh, doing that, saying that, but whatever. You know, this is the U.S. United States, so the laws are kind of bad. Okay. Alright, uh, so, not bad, but just, you can manipulate it in a way, but, uh, okay, to your favor, but, um, yeah, guys, the story is about me, my first car crash, when I first got into my car accident, guys, it was right after Vegas, guys, yeah, guys, coming back from Vegas, you didn't, I did not expect that, guys, especially after having so much fun, I was like, no, oh, let's go, so I came back, and when I go out, and everything, and BAM, <laughs> uh, the person in front of me, you kind of brake checked, and um, yeah, guys, I ended up crashing it, and I, uh, yeah, guys, pretty much it, guys, like, honestly, yeah, that's, that's it, end of the story, guys, bye, guys, like, <laughs> now, nah, there was more details to that, guys, like, I crashed it, I was nervous, I was scared, I, ended up, I right away called my dad, my dad was like, oh, okay, there's nothing, like, he's like, he was at going to work, and my mom was at work, so there's nobody was able to help me out, guys, like, I was literally by myself right there, I was like, so sad, I was scared, I was like, no, no and then uh i went to like my, my dad was telling me uh, ask for his id and make sure you get his id take a picture so i came outside my car to try to grab it grab, uh, taking a picture of the, uh, the caught my car and then his car and then um what else what else what else what else what else uh oh, yeah. i went to ask the guy for my for his ID, <laughs> the guy wouldn't give it to me. Like literally, guys, he wouldn't give it to me. That's what my dad told me. Uh, called the cops. I ended up calling the cops. I was like, okay, this is not giving me the license. He got in a car accident, and then uh, I was telling him uh, I kind of told the wrong street. So like, I think the cops went to the wrong street when they when I called him. Like, oh, uh, because I was like kind of like panicking. So I, like, I'm a, I'm a delivery driver, guys. So I should know where I was at, but I was like. Oh, I was panicking, guys. Like you know, like when you panic, just everything, just your whole mind just is in a rush. So that was pretty much how it was. And um, when when it, when it takes people, like, his son all of a sudden arrived. He was trying to call his son. His son came. This is where I kind of got sketched, guys, because like um, he was telling me not to call the cops. He's like, no, nah, dude, don't call the cops. Well, well, which I figured this it out and everything and I was like, I'll oh, do already call them and everything. I'm sorry, man, but he wouldn't give me his his ID and um, When the cops came he, he they got the the guy is the one that had the ID. It wasn't his dad like um, It was weird because he brought like an envelope. I feel like his dad didn't have the uh, the person that crashed I guess I cried but since I was kind of surprised, but whatever um I have the do the the, car the dash cam footage, so but I will not release that unless I get sued, guys, and everything. That's like, cause like honestly, like, as yeah, guys, you don't want to get dude have all that. But um, get into all. I don't want to get myself into legal trouble uh, by releasing it and everything and making the situation worse. It's already uh, already it was, and he gave me the driver license to take a picture and everything. And then uh, what else would happen? The cop ended up talking to me and talking to him. But while was, he was telling him, he was the cop was asking him for his um, I forgot his papers for his car. Oh, I forget what that thing is called. Not, not, um, I guess pink slip. I guess you can say like his pink slip of the car. Not that pink slip, but like the other thing that the little white the paper that knows that if it's his car or not. 
and the guy didn't have it, guys. Literally, his car wasn't registered. He's totally saying that he got it from the junkyard, from an auction, I guess you can say. In other words, and uh, the guy was like asking him, "Dude, is not, are you, are you sure you not you can't do it?" Like, uh, he was asking for it. The guy wouldn't give it to him, guys. Like, he just say, like, "I don't have it." Dude. Not on me right now. That they probably have the home and everything. It's kind of bad when you do. I'm surprised you didn't get a ticket, guys. Usually, people officers do offer you a ticket for not having any type of evidence that that was you and everything and then uh i was scared guys so like i said i, w I didn't know what to do i didn't i couldn't make sure that i was in a bad mood and everything i was just panicked that my car got a car crash and everything the thing is in my car it was like the worst like he he, he literally walked off like like without a scratch guy just like a scratch pretty much but my car like well well my car Literally got destroyed in the front. The bumper was was bu was busted. The front hood was busted. Uh, some damage to the radiator, but not too damage. Um, it just it was bad, guys. I was I was sad, guys. I was like, no, I don't want to drive my car no more. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I got into other situation. I just like it got kind of like weird. Just like the guy was trying to extort me for money, guys. He was asking me for like, oh. You, Crash my car. This is how much it didn't cost. We was asking for two thousand dollars, guys. When, when guys, like I said, my car was literally like wrecked, and my and thing cost me a thousand. There's no way, literally, like it was no way it added up. Like the him costing him, uh, fuck, like uh, it costing him like two thousand dollars to repair his car. I guess I felt because it was junkyard and everything was, uh, from the, uh, he was trying to get it all repaired and everything, or just use that money just to get himself a new car, or something like that, guys. And well, yeah, guys, that's pretty much what happened, guys. Um. Just make sure if you ever get in a car accident, you always have a door. Um, <laughs> door. Why I keep saying that? A dash cam, guys. Honestly, it will save you guys money. Save you guys uh, arguing with the other person and make sure they don't no lawsuit gets to the other person and everything. It just save you like it'll just save you guys. Honestly, I feel like if they, if they people want to start um, like law, like make a law and everything to make like roads safe, it should do door do uh, car uh, dash cams. Now guys, you guys saw how I died, guys. I was, dude, I was so mad, guys. I was going off and everything. I just died like that, guys. Doesn't make sense. The guy was camping right there behind the tree. I was, oh my god, guys. I was so mad, like it just. It, you don't want to know how mad I was, but okay, guys. I don't want to take enough time of you guys' day. Thank you guys for watching this video and me getting car crash and everything. As always, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and. You already know what I'm about to say. Bye!